song, like if you're familiar with uh, Foo Fighters, something like Learn to Fly, that's like a, it's a rock song, but it's kind of poppy, you know, it doesn't need, we don't need a lot of distortion with that. So I'll turn the master back a bit, the drive mix down a bit. <laughs> It's kind of like poppy with a more like, um, like busy uh, melodic bass line and then you get into the chorus and you want a lot of distortion. Uh, I can kick on the second channel, which again has got uh, a drive mix knob for the amount of drive and a volume, a volume knob to control the amount of signal being put out. I can kick that in in the choruses. So I'll set that one, I'll set the master and the drive both at about three o'clock on that. I should also mention, this a cool thing about this pedal. So you got the two different drive channels. You can use them separately. So set one, add a little bit of distortion, set the second one in the lot, and you can also combine them for a third sound, which would be completely blown out. So this it's pretty versatile. So I'll just play the second channel, which is gonna have a bit more grit to it than the first. Play the same riff so you can get an idea. gets a chance to, uh, to create their own signature uh, guitar pedal, I, I highly recommend it. It's actually a good <laughs> oh, Yeah, okay. Uh, and I'll just, uh, a couple more things about this pedal that I, I'd like to mention. Um, when I'm working on a, uh, trying to get a sound for uh, a larger venue, I don't want to blow out the, uh, the front of house mix when I turn on the distortion. So I want to have my clean sound be uh, of relatively the same volume as the, the overdriven sound. So you can change the meter on this. There's a there's a meter on the, on the uh, pedal. Again, I wish you could see it. It'd be nice if you could see it up here. Uh, but there's a little VU meter, and it gives you your, your level, what you're putting in and what you're putting out. And there's a switch here that'll allow you to go between those two so you can see what the relative volumes are, and if you are indeed adding or decreasing your volume when you, when you flip in the the gain stage. Uh, there's also two separate outputs on this pedal in case you want to get really serious about your sound and I can't wait to, to get ready for the next uh, Foos Tour and, and put this into use. You can, you can uh, run each separate output to a different amp and the two gain stages can go to different amps so you can have completely different sounds. You might want to change how you EQ the amps or have a different size speaker depending on how in depth you want to get into uh, you know the creation of your own individual sound. Uh, and there's also a 10 dB boost on the second channel. If you do want to get that one a bit more cranking, that could be definitely useful. And uh, one other feature of this thing I should mention, there is there is an input knob, so you can, uh, not only can you control the amount of gain that, that the individual channels have, but you can control the amount of signal going into them, and therefore how, uh, how processed it is and how uh, overdriven the sound is. Uh, and I will now unplug it so you can get a chance to look at this. Quick. Do I need to mute this? Alright, let's pull it out. Let's turn the volume down. It's all muted. Oh, yeah, it's close. So there's this. Uh, 
this so you can get a picture of what I was talking about. Um, and uh, if anybody's got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. So they originally had this one on stage. Is there a difference in sound between the two? That one's much louder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think I, I actually had a rehearsal this morning, and so I kind of screwed uh -huh. up these, these folks' uh, schedule uh, by showing up a little bit late. So I think they've had something to do with that and the guys have wrong before. Okay, I would have loved to have heard that one, but... Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the amp that I, that I use on tour, and right? it's, a, it's a beast. It's great. Uh, like I said, my, my band's got three guitar players, so to be heard at all, right. it, it, takes, um, it takes a pretty powerful amp. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir? So how do you keep, uh, like for example, when you start using that effect, for example, you start to get almost like a synth-based sound, so how do you maintain that? Do you have like a line that you say, hey, this is, this is the sound I'm looking for, or do you feel like you're going toward a synth-based sound? Because when I heard it, I thought, Hey, a live bass is going towards synth bass sound almost. Yeah, I mean that's something that bass distor distortion can do. Um, I don't think I don't think this pedal does that as much as, as some of them, where you get like a, you know, again you're talking about sound quality, so it's it's all so subjective. But where you get that kind of like gritty, like kind of sound, we were trying to uh, avoid that with this one, and, and I like the sound of it. If that came across that way. Uh, that's unfortunate because that's not what we were going for. It's not like it came across when you were getting higher, but not when you got to the lower pitch. So. Yeah, that's you know, with with guitar effects and especially bass effects, I find that I'm not I'm in, in no in no sense an expert on this, but I do find that you get uh, a pitfall thing that you would want to avoid is your sort of clean, unprocessed sound, and then like spread over the top of it is the affected sound. You know what I'm talking about? And, right. You know, I recently bought a bass synthesizer pedal just for my own solo work. Like, oh, I'll try this and see if I, you know, generate any ideas off of it. And I didn't, I, I didn't like it because it was exactly like that. It was like somebody playing a synthesizer over the top of the bass. It didn't turn the bass note into a synthesized part. Um, it's definitely something to avoid. Well, the, what I like about it, 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 you could still tell it was a live bass. Yeah. And it still had that edgy cut through. So I think it's a combination of an exciting sound. Really uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I like. It. Cool, good. Thank you. It's good to hear. Uh, anybody else? Nick? Do you it's a friend of mine. <laughs> do you use it in line with, um, with a compressor or do you use it as a standalone? Is that the only thing I do? Changing? I do have a compressor in line, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine that that accentuates or sm maybe smooths it out a little bit? Or? Yeah, you know, just it's, a, it's really light compression because you can, you okay. can hear compression on bass and it's. Uh, it can be counterproductive if you put on too much. So your um, preference is, do you, I mean, do you have a preference as to whether you're going to use it with uh, only, only live, to just get the sound across a little bit more. You know, it helps it cut through yeah, the band setting. I'm sorry if you said this already, but how long have you been using that pedal now? Uh, this is new. This has been, uh, I got a prototype about a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. So I haven't really had a chance to put it through paces yet because uh, that has not been on a wasting light tour then. No. No. Okay. Well, I can't wait to hear. It. Yes, sir. That's analog. Analog. That's a good. That's a good question. I don't. Even, I don't know if it's if it's got an analog circuit like a tube in it or whether it's. Oh, not, not necessarily tube. Just analog uh, circuitry on it. And then also, I was kind of questioning. I was kind of wondering. When you, is it interactive with your volume when you were backing off a little bit? Does it clean up a little yeah. bit? And when you bring your volume up, does it actually distort a little bit more? There's not a sense. It's nothing that I've needed, so I didn't worry about its sensitivity. No. It is. It is. It's analog circuit. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's digital are the switches, effectively. Yeah. All right, then. Well, thank you. Listen to me. Who's got the